Muhammad Abdul, the so-called most underdeveloped character in the Stardust Crusaders gang, has always caught my attention. This is from his combination of earnest charm and the presentation of his intelligence, without making himself boring of Don't course. Give a fuck, dog. But Muhammad Abdul is actually a lot more developed than what people give him credit for. Since I don't know if anyone has done an actual proper analysis on the character before, I am here to fix that. Muhammad Abdul! Yes! I am! In the major arcana of tarot cards, the magician card is associated with the number one and the beginnings of journeys and events. So what an amazing way to kick off a whole new set of powers and abilities in the world of Jojo, as Abdul's magician's red is the first time shown, and the phoenix slash human hybrid that exploded across the pages in a ball of fire was enough to make it iconic. And it marked the beginning of a huge journey ahead. Abdul is certainly one of the few characters, both in part 3 and in the rest of the series, that feels like a believable, genuine guy. He isn't cold and emotionally distant for literally no reason, neither is he over the top for drama and comedic value. He serves as the middle of the road character in his respected part, who puts on an intense face when necessary, but he does emotionally respond to conflicts in a way that a normal person would. Like, I loved how he acted so normal among the chaos in India, like this was every day for him. I also love his knowledge of places and even stance, like stance was something that only mystics knew about. It is because of this, Abdul became the sort of de facto moral compass for the group and the most reliable of the bunch. The introduction of Abdul was also the end of the idea that Jojo was a strictly European show and it truly became an international show. He is one of the very first non-white characters, and the very first non-white character in a major role in the protagonist's travelling party. Of course, the title of the very first non-white character was stolen by Smokey, and technically Jotaro, who's half Japanese and was introduced before Abdul. Being the lantern of wisdom and guidance that navigates the group through this strange new world, Abdul search is the main explanatory character for the most of Stardust Crusaders. His extensive knowledge and experience really help flesh out a lot of the earliest stunts. This gives him a vital role in the group and the character that provides the most meaningful information about the world. Блять, яра яра, зажигалку проебал. Эй, Абдул! Мой стенд, Маджишн Райет. Блять, погоди. А чё умеешь, блять? Я могу управлять огнём! I will go out and state that Magician's Red is the most unique and versatile stand in the entire party, as Abdul has complete mastery over his stand in a way that few characters actually do. Capable of manipulating his flames and actually having the most tools to address many types of stand fights, Magician's Red can shoot fire. Sounds pretty simple, right? Actually, Abdul can do a lot more with his stand than other characters in the party. It is a combat stand, just like the good majority of the characters in the party, but he manages to possess more abilities than all of them combined. He firmly believes that his stand is so versatile that he could go toe to toe with most other stands, aside of course from the stands that could bend time and space or even gravity, since I honestly don't know how you could beat those guys with the given standard set of stand abilities. Yes! 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 Mohamed Abdul! Yes! I am! The reason that his stand is so versatile is probably due to the time that he had the stand, as he's one of the very few characters born with a stand. Magician's Red can do everything from completely manipulating the path of his fire, to creating binding ropes that are capable of suffocating a victim completely, and actually being able to track people without knowing where they are. And also did I mention that his fire is explosive. Okay, I think it's high time to talk about the elephant in the room. Abdul dying was and is a rather sad and confusing moment since up to this part, no other cast member has died so early into the part, and seeing Abdul bite the dust so early definitely shocked me. His dramatic return, however, is one of the coolest moments in the whole series, but how does this affect the character of Abdul? Well, since Abdul dies, he's absent from a few fights, which definitely makes it feel like he's not in this part all that much. Especially since he doesn't have a fight after his return, except if you count Joseph giving him the uh, superior German science, for this reason, Abdul isn't as present in the latter half of the part, which is sad because I would like to have seen more of his wacky side after the bullet quote unquote graced him. Abdul ain't bad, he definitely is badass and resolute, but he's just lacking. He definitely should have had a few more badass fights, which is a common trope with a lot of Stardust Crusaders. 
I think what I said basically sums up how I feel about the character. I don't think that he is as underdeveloped as people make him up to be, since we know a lot about his character and his role in the greater story. And the bromance with Polnareff just goes to show how good of a person Aldo really is. But like Hakuin, he just needed more fights and a proper backstory to go with it. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>